<laughs> That's where it landed. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bullseye. Are we ready? All right. Can I get you to introduce yourself for the camera, please? Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Sarandon. Nice to see you all here from UCF. And um, can you tell me a little bit about what you think makes The Princess Bride such a classic film? Well, I, I mean, there's so many elements in it to me that are... Um, inimitable, you know. It's um, it's an adventure. Uh, it's a romance. It's a swashbuckling kind of um, sword fighting movie. It's a satire kind of uh, of movies of that ilk, but it doesn't make fun of them. It has fun with the kind of uh, cliches of those movies, um, and it's brilliantly written. Uh, a script by William Goldman, who also, I'm being, yeah. in case you're wondering what that is, we have an ongoing rubber band war here, so if you see objects flying through the screen, that's what's happening. Um, it has a, a, a script by William Goldman, who also wrote, um, <laughs> Savini, a lot of ammo over there. <laughs> uh, who also wrote uh, Marathon Man, ooh, he hit the mic! <laughs> Calm down. Uh, at any rate, a, a great script, uh, directed by Rob Reiner, uh, who uh, directed uh, This is Spinal Tap, among uh, any number of other movies, uh, When Harry Met Sally, um, and a terrific cast. Um, and it operates on lots of different levels. That is, I mean, I was told a story by a man who was in his late 20s who had a four-year-old kid. And uh, he never thought his kid would sit through the movie, so he gave his kid some toys to play with. And he was watching the movie, and the movie's over, and he said his kid was like this, right at the screen watching. And all his little boy said was, play it again. Because it appeals to, to children on one level. It's a, it's a sword fighting movie. It's a, and for girls, it's a, you know, a movie about a princess. Uh, but it, it, as you get older, it means different things. You start getting the humor. You start getting the, the, the little jokes in the movie. And you start to appreciate uh, as you even get older, the fact that the movie's really about something quite profound, which is true love. It's about how true love never dies uh, if it's, if it's uh, uh, experienced in a, in a very wide open sort of, uh, uh, it's okay to feel that way kind of way. So, uh, I don't know, it's a complex answer because I think the reason for its appeal is very complex. Do you have a favorite part of the movie? All my parts. <laughs> just kidding. You're in. No, there are I, no, there are, there are, I think I, I just watched it again recently at the New York Film Festival for an audience of like 2500 people. Wow. And they were it was like going to a Rocky Horror show screening. People were repeating the lines, they were yelling at the villains, they were cheering when the, the good guys came on. It was uh, you know, it was a really extraordinary experience. So, uh, I, I have to fight back. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, now you're going to witness this, okay? Oh, I just missed him. So close. All right, anyway, yes. Next question. That was pretty much what I had. Oh, you, okay. And yeah, it had such 